Good very early morning from London Heathrow. Today we are flying the world's best and most expensive first class seat as we fly from London to Abu Dhabi. And I don't say best first class seat lightly. We have been working our way up to this flight for years. When you compare all the best first class seats flying through the sky, including the Singapore Suites, which are absolutely incredible, the residence is still in a class all its own. It's technically above first class because first you need to book a first class ticket and then pay an additional five thousand dollars to upgrade to the residence but by doing that you get access to three private rooms on an airplane all to yourself you have this living room slash dining room a private bathroom with a shower i don't know how it gets better than showering at thirty-five thousand feet and a fully enclosed bedroom but the residence experience begins before we even get on the plane so let's go get checked in It's actually happening. Wow, getting an escort through security. Thank you. The VIP room. Thank you. What in the world? I'm so shocked. Did you know this was happening? So we walked in the VIP door and this is all ours. Giant TV, couch, our own private dining table. So we could just leave all of our stuff in here and go to the buffet or, oh. <laughs> Awkward. <laughs> and I almost forgot. Gosh, this door keeps opening and it is the most awkward thing ever. It opens and it's like this door that's, you know, like for special people. <laughs> and then everybody looks in. Last but not least, we also have our own private bathroom with a towel warmer and a shower. We're not even on the plane yet and this is already so ridiculous. Just keeps bringing tears to my eyes. I think I'm really sleep deprived. Could be a long day. <laughs> I think if there's just like some initial shock, but I'm gonna be okay. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. We having champagne before coffee? Cheers. Cheers. To the pinnacle of aviation. Today's gonna be really tough because I want everything on this a la carte menu, but I'm gonna have to pace myself today. Ooh. Mm -hmm. To the table. So much for saving ourselves for the plane. <laughs> the Eddie Hot Food Tour officially starts now. Mm. It might be the best structure that I've ever had. Sourdough toast with truffle, tarragon, cream sauce, spinach, and mushrooms. Wow. <laughs> I don't know which one is better. The crazy thing is, it just gets better from here. I know. So I just got a notification on my phone that it was time to head to the gate and it feels so wrong just waiting in the lounge. But Antica told us that she would come get us and that we would be the first people on the plane. So we're just waiting patiently. <laughs> even though everything in me feels like we should be running to the gate. I trust Antica. Here we go. Thank you very much. I have yet to hold my boarding pass. <laughs> I haven't even touched it. Wow, that felt so wrong. There were hundreds of people waiting at the gate and we just walked right past everyone. I literally feel like the president. <gasps> There's our plane. It's so pretty. <laughs> Is this for live? It's too this? much. Is our private bedroom on an airplane? Is that memory foam? Oh. <laughs> Stop. The shower is huge. You must adopt the brace position when you hear the command. I have such mixed emotions right now. Obviously, I am incredibly excited about this flight. I am so grateful to be here. But on the other hand, this is the top. It genuinely does not get better than this in commercial aviation. It's all downhill from here. There's nothing else to look forward to. After this, what do we do? Retire? Nah, we haven't taken off yet, and I already don't want it to be over. It's not long enough. God, this is so fun. So fun. Wow. This is the nicest champagne glass I've ever held in my hands. Ooh, did you hear that? Let's do that again. Okay, we're in the air. We've gotten acquainted with our space. And now I'm going to give you a full tour of the residence. I cannot believe those words are coming out of my mouth. First of all, quick overview of the space. 
We're calling this room the living room slash dining room. These are our airplane seats, which are more like a couch. It's like two huge recliners right next to each other. Very cozy. And on this side, we have three ottomans that also open up for storage. We put a few of our things that we feel like we might need during the flight in here, like chargers, chapstick, makeup bag, which means we were able to put our backpacks away, but not in the overhead bin because we don't have one. We just slid them under the bed, which turned out to be a little more challenging than it should have been. Theoretically, there's storage under the bed, but it takes a little effort. I'm sweating. But we did it, and now they're out of the way. We have all of this space. Above the ottoman, we have a 36 inch TV. Is it touch screen? Not touch screen. <laughs> there is a remote here at the seat. Oh, gosh. <laughs> there is also a mini bar underneath the ottoman. I played with all these buttons while we were taking off and there is so much to be excited about. First of all, we got permission from Ash, our flight attendant, to prop our feet up on this ottoman, but it gets better. You press this button, you can move the ottoman closer. Right. So if you have short legs like me, this is very convenient. I was actually a little surprised to find out that this seat doesn't actually recline that much. What? It goes just... Here, which I don't know why you would want to go any further back when you literally have a bed 10 steps away. Are you drinking all my champagne? This champagne was bottled before the first Eddie Hawk flight ever took off. My boy. I cannot wait to Google how expensive the champagne is. Do you know? You do know. 300. Are you serious? <laughs> okay, moving on with the seat tour. Underneath our Bluetooth headphones. We have a little charging port. And lastly, this touchscreen has so many fun buttons. One thing I have never seen on an airplane before is a cushion firmness button. So I can make this super soft and squishy or super firm with the touch of a screen. Who thought of that? And of course, there's also a massage button that I discovered during takeoff. As you can see, we have a fully closing door, which is usually a highlight and like one of the coolest things about flying first class. Oh wait, just wait. If you enter our hallway, there is a fully closing door. Floor to ceiling. Oh, gosh. I'm sorry. Like I was saying, I feel like this should be illegal on a plane. We can close the door and lock it. This takes full privacy to another level. We have a closet where I've hung my very high quality $20 Target jacket that I do not want to get wrinkled. So now if you'll follow me down this hallway, that leads us to the bedroom. I would just like to remind you that we are on a commercial flight right now and we are in our own private bedroom. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think this is the only stationary bed on a commercial flight. Like the bed in the Singapore suite was obviously amazing, but we had to make it. Ash has laid out our pajamas beautifully on the bed, but I'm about to mess them up because it's time for a bed tent. <laughs> Sounded kind of hard. It's definitely going to be cozy with the two of us in here, but it's an eight hour flight and we don't plan on sleeping. Pardon the interruption. We just need to thank the sponsor of this video, which is AG1. One of our favorites. Most of you know us as the Kara and Nate who travel the world and make fun videos. But when we're not doing that, sometimes we're trying to be the world's best aunt and uncle by hanging out in the hot tub with our nieces. Are you having fun? <laughs> Me too. But whether we're flying in the residence or being at Kara and Uncle Nate, we don't go anywhere without AG1. Isn't that right? Do we drink this every day? I don't know about you, but I always have really good intentions when it comes to eating a healthy diet, taking care of my body, but especially with our hectic travel lifestyle, a lot of times huh? my good intentions aren't quite enough. What? But thankfully, ever since I discovered AG1 back in summer of 2020, it has been a part of my daily routine, which is a pretty big deal because we don't have many routines in our lives. <laughs> Just in case you haven't heard, AG1 is a daily foundational nutrition supplement that supports whole body health. It really just sets the tone for the day for me. I drink it first thing in the morning, and then the rest of the day, I feel like I make better choices. Just one serving of AG1 contains over 75 vitamins, minerals, and whole food sourced ingredients, all of which support our immune system, which is a pretty big deal during these winter months, Let's our go. gut health, Let's and even our focus and energy levels. Plus, Nate and I think it tastes great. Hey. Much less green and grassy than it looks. You wanna tell me what it tastes like? 
Do you like it? <laughs> Kids don't lie. Do I have a sip? What do you think it tastes like? Yeah. <laughs> Way to go, Hosanna. High five. Thanks for your help. I like your green mustache. I want some more of that. All right. Well, if Hosanna has convinced you enough, if you use our link below, you will get not only the welcome kit, which includes this cute shaker, this jar, and of course, all of the aids you want to put inside of it, but you will also get a free bottle of vitamin D3K2 drops, great for your immune system, and five free travel packs. Hey! Oh! <laughs> these! Five of these. Click the link below. Hope you love it as much as we do. Back to the video. All right, girls, let's throw some snowballs back at Uncle Nate. I already have one. Look. Ah! Oh. <laughs> oh, no! Must be our lucky day. <laughs> it actually is 11-11 right now. Could you wish for anything else? Um, that this light was twice as long. Oh, fair enough. <laughs> that is literally like the second time ever I've hit the call button on an airplane. Hello. Hi. Like to have the Asian vegetarian choice that you ordered. Yes. What about to drink with that? Do you want to stick with the rosé um, champagne? Do you want to try something else? You should go for this one. Yeah? Yeah, Okay. 100%. I'll try the 2002. For my appetizer, can I get the lobster tail? And for the main, can I try the linguine? Thank you so much. Thank you, Ash. You're welcome. Wow, life is good. I vote <sighs> we just start light with the office. I love the office. It is crazy. I have not thought about a single other person on this airplane. It doesn't even feel like we're on an airplane. I think there are nine total seats in first class. I can poke my head out, and there are a couple people in first class. It feels like we're all alone. And I feel like we have like four people Waiting taking care of us. Yes. It is almost uncomfortable. It genuinely is. I mean, everyone is so nice. This is the biggest tray table I've ever seen. Awesome. Let me get your one Thank open you. for you. We are dining together. This is awesome. We didn't even get to do this in Singapore Street. We were so far away. This is the best day ever. It's already going by so fast. Oh. Wow. So, <laughs> salmon and the green beans and a bit of lemon. If Thank you, you so much. The way this was all set up was like magic. She never left the room. There were two people working together. So she would set something down and then she would just go back out to the door and it would automatically appear in her hands and then it would arrive at our table. I feel like we're gonna do too many of these today, but cheers. cheers. This is incredible. What's crazy is this is like the starter to the starter. This wasn't even on the menu. Here we go. We've only eaten caviar a handful of times and it's only in these like really crazy, fancy, experiences like first class flights, the North Pole, first class train. So, bon appetit. Thank you. The fact that I have to look for Carrie inside our seat. Mate, <laughs> these jammies, these are the best of the best. This is the first time we've ever had a row. With a hood. Everything is so soft. This is amazing, and there are pockets. Wow. How good is it? Okay, I'm kind of jealous. Should I change? Yeah, I time guess. is ticking. Little fashion show. I can't believe it. Like the pants are like kind of cropped. Pockets, drawstring. Wow. What have we been doing? We should have changed as soon as we got here. I think we're allowed to keep it. 100%. Really? Let me guess, you're wearing it off the airplane. Yes. Yes. All right, the main meal service is starting now. For our appetizer, Nate got the lobster tail, and I have no idea what mine is. I pre-ordered the vegetarian meal. This looks extremely fancy. It's like a yogurt cream sauce with vegetables on top. Mm. Oh, I just can't get over how cozy I am. Too excited there, sorry. <laughs> we have just received a palate cleanser of mango sorbet for the main course comes. Oh, delicious. And she just told us that the loungewear is the same as first class, but the robe is exclusive. 
to the residence. Okay, before our main course comes out, I'm gonna open our amenity kit. We got very lucky with the timing of this flight because it just happens to be in the middle of their 20 year anniversary celebration, which means they have these special limited edition amenity kits. They're very pretty and I believe they have upgraded products. I'm so excited. Rest and Recovery Night Balm. The brand is Spa. Oh wow, this is amazing. And this is like a full-sized product. Oh, okay, usually I don't spend any time on my earplugs, but I've never seen an earplug like this. It has like little stoppers on the end. All right, our main just arrived. Let me quickly finish the amenity kit. Toothbrush and toothpaste. Hydrating facial mist. Ooh. My first white eye mask. Socks. Rejuvenating hand and body lotion. Lip balm. Etihad hand sanitizer. And essential oils roller. Okay, let's eat. For our mains, Nate got the pasta off of the regular menu, and I got the Asian cauliflower dish. This might be the most beautiful cauliflower I've ever seen. Out of this world good. Like, it tastes like a tandoori cooked cauliflower on an airplane. Mm. <laughs> it's so good. If I'm being honest, I'm a little jealous. My linguine looks delicious, but... I'll share. I've been eating all day. I'm very happy to share. Oh my gosh. I know. I didn't even have to wait, it just hit my tongue. <laughs> I know. <laughs> we are over halfway through this flight and we are still eating. We're not even finished with our game. It is a full experience. We've got to hurry so we can go get bed and then take a shower. Oh. <laughs> well, there's only room for one person to eat dessert in bed. Life is good. How cute is this little espresso cup? I got chocolate cake. I taste even better in here. Mm. Nate, I think you could fit if you wanted to join me. Scoot over. You don't have to ask me twice. <laughs> We're stable. Wow. We're secure. <laughs> this is Dessert awesome. Dessert in bed. Does it get any better than this? No. I mean, this literal moment is the peak of commercial aviation for and me. our lives. Yes. They say the best day of your life is the day you get married. <laughs> Those are just people that haven't flown the residence together. And that'd be it. <sighs> okay, our time in the residence is flying by. Get it? So before it gets too late, I'm going to take a shower in our private bathroom. Let me show you. Welcome to our private bathroom. I did not anticipate the joy that I would feel having my own toilet that I can use whenever I want. I don't have to squeeze past anyone to get to it. I don't have to wait in line and it's clean. It doesn't smell like other people's pee. There aren't weird hairs anywhere. There's not toilet paper on the ground. It's not all wet. I don't feel like I have to sanitize my whole body when I'm done. Yeah, I didn't realize how grody I felt using public airplane bathrooms were until I had my own. I'm ruined for life is what I'm saying after this experience. Real quick, vanity area is pretty standard. Like we have the sink and the trash can. We do have washcloths to dry our hands with. In addition to paper towels, fancy lotion, atmosphere mist, fancy soap, and hand sanitizer just in case. Ah! Motion censored water. <laughs> Behind this cabinet, we have a hair dryer, like a real hair dryer. Ash told me this has about five minutes on it, so I'm gonna save that for after my shower. Behind me, we have robe number two, bathrobe. Not to be confused with our lounging cloak. <laughs> of course, the toilet that Nate is sitting on right now. Doing my best over here. They've provided us with towels, and of course, the grand finale, our very own shower. And it's huge, huge. They did not hold back on the shower. I was expecting like, you know, like a one person like tube. You could be in the water or out of the water. They provided all the soaps obviously. And we have five minutes of water each. I'm going to take a five minute shower and then Nate gets his own five minute shower. Okay. Wow. I know this is obvious, but I just need to say it out loud. I'm wearing a bathrobe on an airplane. <laughs> <laughs> and applying really nice moisturizer that I got given for free. Well, far from free, but you know what I mean. <laughs> Included in the ticket price. Nate's turn. Ooh. 
Good water pressure. I don't know how it gets better than showering at 35,000 feet. And the best part is there is no pressure to get out of it. I mean, the water's going to run out in five minutes, but if I just want to stand here, I can do that as long as I want. So good. I cannot believe I have made it to a point in my life where I'm comparing airplane showers, but I think this one is a little bigger than it might. The bathroom as a whole is smaller, but I think the shower is actually bigger. All right, we're beginning our descent, but I just had to have one moment just cuddled up in this bed before I have to go back to my seat. Mm. It's pretty great. Imagine if it was 16 hours and we could come back here and take a nap and then wake up for some breakfast. Eddie Hod has outdone themselves. The only way I can possibly think that this experience could be topped is if there were like, I don't know, a masseuse on call who would come in here and like give you a massage while you're in bed. Like other than that, it just doesn't get any better than this. <laughs> Alright, enjoy. Ugh. This is so sad. I literally feel like we just got here. No doubt the fastest seven and a half hours of my life. Not a touch screen. <laughs> I'm just playing with the buttons on the TV now. And I just hit one and there's a pop-up and it says bedroom video. You can watch a video at the same time as the bedroom. So if we wanted to watch the same movie, but me in bed and Nate out here, we could hit play at the same time. That's a really cute little feature. I hope so. Bye bye. Thank you okay, so much. Thank you, Ash. We miss you. Thank you for everything. Welcome. Oh my gosh. Thank you. Wow. <laughs> was not expecting this. How was your flight? So good. It wasn't long enough. It was so short. Just ate some food, watched a movie, and then we were here. <laughs> this is it. Your last airplane tour. <laughs> We're going into retirement, it. so enjoy it. Have enjoy fun it. with it. Okay, okay. Okay, so I want to use the toilet. The only way to get in without opening this door is to do this. <laughs> because if you just nice. walk in like a normal person. <laughs> They're just too nice here. Nate was very stern about only ordering one thing. We're not going to fill up on food in the lounge. I wasn't stern. <laughs> yes, you were. Never done this in a lounge before. <laughs> This is the best. Just needed to touch them up a little bit, you know, since we're doing some fancy stuff. <laughs> but you can't because look who you're bothering. And no one. <laughs> <laughs>